Hi there, and welcome to The Dough Show for Wednesday, March 13th, 2019. I'm Ferris Fair. And I'm Bambi Dextrous. And, and we're dragging, dragging our heels. We have another really exciting episode for you today, so let's get right into it. This past Friday at Evolution Wonder Lounge was an evening of Violet Tchotchke, a special show hosted by Rob Browatsky. Uh, Violet had actually supposed to have been the special guest judge for the completion of Edmonton's Burlesque Superstar back in February, but due to a change in her commitment, she could no longer make it, so we had, of course, back then, Pheromone. Aww. Aww. Uh, but it was really great that Violet was able to find another date that worked out, and uh, it was worth the wait. It was worth the wait. Because it was fantastic. Um, there was a bit of a difference in some of the performers. We had uh, some drag, some burlesque. It was really fun. The evening kicked off with a performance by Miss Evolution 5 e League, and uh, it was absolutely a bang up number you definitely need to check it out uh and then there was also a bunch of the uh people that had been in the edmonton's burlesque superstars that were in the show as well yes, yes there was vivian vanguard cherry monroe lily minx and the winner of course of edmonton's burlesque superstar sybil satana yes uh, Sybil actually uh, did the number that won her the competition. She redid yeah. that number, and I, you know, I love that outfit. It was the heart shaped bum cut out, and like, oh, so gorgeous. So it was wonderful to show it off to a bunch more people who ate it up. Obviously, all that was leading into Violet Chachki, uh, who did two amazing numbers. Uh, the first one was it just. It was so fantastic, and uh, the one little highlight for me was like this amazing corset, which I guess were kind of like these teeth and fang things. I'm not sure what it looked like to me. It looked like this big mouth come in. It was yeah. really cool. Was that the sparkly one? Yes, the, spark yes. It's the sparkly teeth kind of thing. She uh, sparkled. And then in the second number, it was like head to toe, uh, rhinestones, diamonds, glitter. Di like, it, it was just amazing. And like just being near her, like you could just feel the weight of it. It was just... Uh, they were joking that it was like um, drag queen armor. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was absolutely fantastic. And both numbers were great. And uh, it was really fun getting to meet her backstage. And I got to have a quick little conversation with her. And I asked her about um, drag and burlesque. And what, you know, like some of the things about around the world. Like mm. whether they're kind of fused together. Like we some kind of we do, some kind of do well, here. We've seen a lot of mishmash between and she said, burlesque here and everything. She said in a lot of the bigger cities like New York and stuff like that, it's definitely all kept very separate. But she says that, you know, that she kind of likes that we are just kind of like, you know what, it's performance art and we enjoy it. And, just... and we're kind of like blurring those lines. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, anyway, just kind of an interesting little conversation that I had with season seven of RuPaul's Drag Race winner, Violet Chachki. It was so cool that uh, she was out, so thank you to Evolution Wonder Lounge for hooking us up. It mm -hmm. was good. Thank you. Videos for the entire show are up on the channel, so you definitely should go check them out after this. <laughs> This past Saturday, there was actually a couple events out and about around the city. Uh, one of them was No Variety at On The Rocks. Uh, uh, this was the first one that I actually was not in. Uh, Melinda Verga hosted for Nova since she was out of town. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, from all accounts, it was a successful event and everybody had a really good time. Um, we did send our intrepid videographer, Dean, down to that event. But unfortunately, the lighting wasn't really didn't really work. Um, the, they had no overhead lights on or anything at all, so really we have a bunch of dark footage. Uh, you can hear the sound and stuff, but uh, there's just really zero point in posting it to the channel. So we do apologize to everyone involved in the event. Um, hopefully going forward at uh, On The Rocks for those types of events, they are able to figure out something so that we can actually see. I, I keep joking that maybe we need to try to find like some kind of infrared camera, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do apologize for anybody involved in that event. We do what we can to, you know, <laughs> try to bring what we can. But with, as I said, there's no point in posting those onto the channel. However, there was a show going on on Saturday that we did go to that did have footage. <laughs> yes. It was the Emperor's Birthday Show. Um, performers were asked to do songs from the year that they were born. 
comparatively when one looks at everyone's Facebook profiles compared to the songs. Oh, actually, what, in the labeling of the videos, I, I thought it was very cute. Bambi actually uh, put the year of the song coming out kind of thing in the brackets because mm -hmm. again that was the point of the event so I thought that was a nice little touch uh, but it also made it very easy for me to compare <laughs> Facebook profiles with song and I apparently a few people had some problems finding songs from their actual birth year <laughs> but <laughs> whatever uh, it was still a very neat event and congratulations to everyone involved on raising some more monies for this year's very mm -hmm. worthy charities this past Sunday at Evolution Wonder Lounge was a very special episode of the Sunday Review Dragging our heels, hosted the Doe Show. We did? We did. You don't remember? No. No, I barely do either. <laughs> uh, the Doe Show, Creative Control. We took over control of the Sunday Review for the very first time. It's true. And uh, it went over fairly well, I yeah. have to say. Uh, we had a really good time. We had fun in the lead up. Um, instead of just having a somewhat regular review, the gimmick, as we have probably said on the channel before, the gimmick was that we wanted to uh, make people do something that was going to be brand new for our channel. We wanted new, created content for our channel. So that's what we went with, and we pushed everyone to think maybe a little bit outside their box. Mm -hmm. uh, with some of the performers, we actually chose which ones they were going to do. Uh, and when you're dealing with some of the legends in the city, it, yeah, I was a little nervous to be like... So this is what I'd like from you. <laughs> yeah, like right? I'm so nervous to tell people what numbers to do, but but, uh, but thankfully everyone was extremely uh, on board and welcoming, and mm -hmm. uh, I, I couldn't be more happy with how the the show went off. So uh, yeah. thank you to everyone involved. Um, I am actually going to name them because I I, I really truly thought it was uh, it was a truly special wonderful night for us and and. Um, Everyone deserves the thank you. I mean, everybody in every show deserves the thank you, but this was our show. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, this is our show to go catch in Trixie. Um, Davina Die For was one of my picks, and uh, she did an incredible Janelle Monet number. Um, and uh, the fun thing about that was it was a song that I really liked, and when I used to listen to it all the time, I was just like, it just kind of in my head pictured Davina kind of rocking out to it. So when I suggested that song to her, and she was just kind of like, oh my god, that's like my favorite song, and like I've been looking for an excuse to do it, Leaves to say I was yeah. very happy. Uh, so uh, she did Queen, Q-U-E-E-N, and it was just fantastic. So thank you to Davina for doing that for us. You guys should definitely check out that video on the channel. Mm -hmm. Other videos to check out were the amazing Twiggy, again, one of my picks. Um, and we've got a lot of Twiggy videos on our channel. A lot. Uh, she's been performing for like 30 years around this province. So uh, there is footage out there of all kinds of things. But we wanted new footage for our channel. So we managed to find yet another song that she had never done before. So yeah. uh, super happy with that. Uh, thank you, Twiggy, for being a part of our show. And definitely, again, check out the channel. Or check out the video, because it was hilar hilarious. Hilarious. Love it. Melinda Verga. Actually, the inspiration for the show, because I, I got the idea that I really wanted Melinda Verga to do Private Dancer by Tina Turner. And that kind of pushed me to ask her to do it, which led to me pushing a whole bunch of other people to do mm. a whole bunch of things. Pushy. Pushy, <laughs> bitch. Um, so yeah, that was super cool. Uh, thank you to Melinda for doing that. It was truly inspiring. Mm -hmm. So cool. Thank you. <laughs> um, one of my picks was Cat Marlowe Menorah. And I went with her largely because I haven't seen her out at mm -hmm. a lot of Sunday reviews performing. Mm, sure. um, she hasn't been out for like that in a while. Yeah, and then only to learn she's in next week's show, <laughs> um, Thought of Gold. So I didn't know that or didn't think of that, but Kat got we a double dip. <laughs> <laughs> no, she got double dipped in there Sunday go. reviews, but fabulous job to Kat. Um, my other pick, one of them, mm -hmm. was Christy Healy. Mm -hmm. She did uh, Dream On. Mm -hmm. And I, this was one that was fairly easy for me to pick for Christy because I knew she had done it before and I really loved that song and we hadn't filmed, uh, I don't know what the reason was. But we yeah, but we didn't filmed. have footage of this number before. So yes, so it was this wonderful was our to chance. catch it. This is our chance to catch it. Absolutely. Um, one number that was filmed that was asked for uh, was Ivy League. Um, 
unfortunately, it did not get filmed, um, which, as we are well aware, sometimes happens. Uh, so, yes. The plus side of that is that Ivy can now get to do that number again. Uh, but it was a fantastic number, so, so thank you again to Ivy for being a part of our show! Another pick from my side was Carried Away. Um, <laughs> You know, she's glamour and she's rock and roll. She mm -hmm. kind of blurs the lines between these genres. So I thought it would be really cool to give her something to do. Mm -hmm. To perform for us. Something creative control. Absolutely. So she ended up doing uh, Cabaret, which was a fantastic. Did the Liza version. Mm -hmm. We love us some Liza. So, uh, yes, thank you very much to Carrie for being in the show. It was fantastic. And as uh, we found out later... Uh, Carrie would totally like to be on the show again, she says. So, uh, we shall see. That would be super cool. We would love to work with Carrie again because she's just fantastic. Actually. And like very supportive and yeah. she's very kind to us asking if we needed anything. So very uh, Honestly, it's one of my favorite things from the show is the fact that uh, I, I feel like I've kind of grown closer to Carrie through it. So anyway, that's a yeah. little side tidbit. Um, speaking of Carrie, her mom was in the show too. Yes, tequila. <laughs> tequila was in the show. Um, she absolutely rocked out that Jessica <sighs> Rabbit number. And, you know, not to tell tales, but then did a duet with, with Godiva. We'll get to Godiva, though. Mm -hmm. um, what can we say about tequila? Uh, just, so, so, here's the full tequila. Um, when I assigned this song to tequila, uh, she was nervous to do it. Um, she's a legend in this community, and, and to me, she's a goddess, and, um, you know, like, to me, it was just like, I want to see Tequila do this number kind of thing, and she just did, she wasn't sure it was in her wheelhouse. Um, she thought she could do fun, she thought she could kind of do campy kind of thing, but she wasn't sure she could do sexy. And I, no, I just knew she was going to absolutely nail it. So, anyway, she went out there, and she did it, and she came backstage afterwards, and she, she looked at me, and she was just kind of like, I think I'm going to add that to my repertoire. I, 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 that went pretty good. So anyway, uh, thank you, Tequila. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so glad that you were so willing to, uh, again, step out of your comfort zone. Even, uh, even a legend was willing to step out of their comfort zone and try something new that they weren't sure they could do. And, yeah. and not only tried it, but banged it out of the park. It was just, it was stunning. Mm -hmm. um, and like as, as one of our coworkers walked by and was just kind of like, oh my God first girl boner ever was to this number. <laughs> so yeah, Tequila, you absolutely slayed it. Both in your number and as Bambi alluded to in your duet with Godiva, which should have probably really finished the evening. Uh, when you guys did the wicked, wicked, wicked number, um, I had originally talked to Godiva about doing Defying Gravity and in my mind I just kind of thought, oh, well, you know, like, she'll just kind of like do Defying Gravity. And instead, you guys did like the full part around it, and it was just, it was, it was so moving mm -hmm. and so incredible, and it was so much more that I could have ever asked for. So, yeah. uh, thank you to Godiva and Tequila for for that number, mm -hmm. and it really was just a phenomenal number. So, thank you. I also we need to thank a certain someone uh, who not only did a fabulous number, but also made, made us for us. So, thank you to Chelsea Horrendous for making this incredible poster. And of course, Bambi didn't really get it because she was barely alive in the time period. But <laughs> um, it's, it's, the, it's basically a, a blank VHS tape. So, anyway, uh, thank you so much to Chelsea. It was, it was absolute perfection. And uh, I was so, so thankful that we were able to get you in the show as well. And it was a completely timely, hilarious, wonderful <laughs> number. Classic Chelsea. Instant classic Chelsea. So thank you. Check out that video. Yes. Of course, the Doe Show would not be complete without some Doe crew. So we also actually had performances by Miss Indecisive, Robin Starfish, Gemini, and well, we did a little something something too, which looked fairly similar to this. We should have brought the cushions. That's what we were missing. Oh, that's why. Uh, oh. But yeah, no, we had a fantastic time. Congratulations to Robin, Miss Indecisive, and Gemini also on doing a number that we had basically commanded you to do. <laughs> yeah. So uh, every single one of you, like, again, stepped a little bit out of your comfort zone and, yeah. and, did, and did 
phenomenal, as we knew you would. So uh, thank you so much for being a part of our show, and thank you, of course, for all you do for us all the time. Uh, it was a fantastic time. We seemed like uh, people seemed to really enjoy, and I guess we did good enough because we already have another one. Uh, coming on Sunday, September 8th, uh, will be the Do Show 2 Creative Control still? I don't know. <laughs> uh, we'll get there. Uh, that's a few months away. Uh, it will also be our celebration of our fifth year anniversary. Not our, but uh -huh. our uh, fifth year anniversary. We've been together a little bit longer than that. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a fantastic time and we are already starting casting and working on songs. I sent one to somebody today and I think they're going to do it. It's already just like blowing my mind about what's going to happen. So uh, thank you so much for any that came down to the show um if you didn't the videos are online now so you should definitely be checking them out but first we want to tell you about what's coming up next week it is pride week here in the edmonton area for the universities and coming up this thursday is the annual pride week drag show at the towers pub for the grant McEwen university mm -hmm. um it is being put on this year by the imperial sovereign court of the wild rose and hosted by dean monroe yep. um should be a good time yes absolutely uh, we don't know as of right now whether we are going to actually have somebody there to film so yeah i was just gonna throw in there i was originally scheduled to be in the show and film the show but a uh, prior commitment came up, something came up for me, and I cannot make it to that show anymore. So so as of right now, we don't have somebody lined up, so if you want to see the performances from that show, I would suggest thinking about going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on Friday is the University of Alberta uh, and Outreach putting on their drag show, their 16th annual drag 16th show. 16th annual drag crazy. show. So uh, that's fantastic. That is at the Dinwoody Lounge. I believe, which was where it was the last couple of times too. So anyway, uh, it was, it's always a fantastic time. This year is hosted by Ivy League and Anya Case. Uh, it should be a really good time. So yeah, uh, we think we have somebody lined up to film that one. So yeah, hopefully we will have videos for that for you available next week on the channel. On Friday as well is the Mix Twisted competition down in Calgary. Um, it is the prelim, so I hope that we will be able to get footage from that, from some of our connections down there. So hopefully you can look for that. But if not, and you are in the Calgary area, you should definitely think about checking that out at Twisted Element this yes. weekend. Coming up on Saturday should be the Dragging Youth Series event, although I did get a notification the other day that the event had been cancelled, so I didn't know whether there was... Uh, any actually further word coming or anything, but there doesn't seem to be anything going on. So I got confirmation that they cancelled the Dragon Youth. Okay, so uh, that event is no longer on, so uh, if you have been planning on being down to it, don't bother. But uh, I would definitely talk to them about seeing about uh, getting into a different one of their month's yeah, shows next coming month. up. All right? Uh, on Saturday evening at Have Mercy Table and mm -hmm. Bar is Hail Mary! Sister Mary Clarence hosts the latest episode of her show. It's going to be a really good time. Gemini, Georgia Tropicana, and Tickle Menorah are the three guest performers this oh, month. So it's nice. going to be a really good show. Um, because our intrepid videographer Dean slash Gemini is in the show, I'm actually assuming that we're probably not going to have footage from that one either. But uh, who knows? Gemini has surprised us before. So uh, we just may end up with some. So... Uh, maybe look forward to footage from that but mm -hmm. if not definitely think about checking out that show on saturday on sunday at evolution wonder lounge is another very special episode of the sunday review thought of gold mm -hmm. hosted by i gotta go and god uh this is one event that we actually will be at for sure yeah. <laughs> so if nothing else we will have footage from this event coming up at some point next week uh but yeah uh there's a fantastic fantastic cast, cast of people by the way this I just realized it will be a very light workload for dragging our heels if we only right? have one show to film. Um, it is a St. Patrick's Day, so I, I, maybe that's going to actually be a theme. Who knows? <laughs> I think it will be a theme. They did a fantastic uh, number the other night at our show as a, as a tip spot. As a tip spot. So yeah. uh, that I was gotta, super fun. I got They have a fantastic lineup in their show. They have Cat Marlowe Menorah, Georgia Tropicana, Andrew Ginny, 
Daisy May Swallows, and Artesia. It should be a really fantastic show. So we will definitely be there. Actually, I think I'm doing lights and sound. So uh, yeah, it should be a fun time. You should definitely think about checking it out. And you can check out the footage next week. But the hosting is half the fun. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's uh, going to be a fun weekend, but as I said, just with everything going on, we're not sure how much but we're actually going to be able to capture. So uh, I hope you are going to be out there supporting local drag this weekend. Anyway, that's probably enough of my yakking. Uh, shall we get to the picks of the week? Sure can. Uh, how about I go first? Sure. Um, on Friday at an evening with Violet. Mm. Um, one of my dear friends was in the show and put on a fabulous burlesque number. I absolutely loved it. Uh, Cherry Monroe with her wasabi mm -hmm. is my pick of the week for this week. It was really, really good. Uh, yeah, congratulations to Cherry on, on getting the Violet gig. And, and uh, yeah, you're, you're fantastic. We love you. Um, my pick... <sighs> there was a couple. There really was. And I... And I Part of me wants to go with the, the tequila one just because it was just so... I'm going to cheat. Okay. I'm going to pick the Wicked mix, the Defined Gravity. I'm going to do I'm going to do Godiva and tequila. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was just so blown away. So blown away by the whole night. I just wish I could nominate the whole show. Uh, well, actually, you can nominate the show for Best Show for Stiletto next year. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I... Uh, for my pick of the week, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the Defying Gravity. The yeah, nice. The Simply Wicked, I think, as I called it. Uh, yeah, I think that's more than enough of us. Uh, you should go check out all of those videos now on the channel. And while you are there, like, share, subscribe, do all those things that you know get us more attention, which gets the community more attention, which is good for everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.